Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, I have a glowy, glossy makeup tutorial for you guys on this look right here that I'm wearing, as well as a makeup product review on the Beauty Bakery Lemon Bar Face Palette. I've had this palette in my collection for a while, but I never used it. So today was my first time dipping into this and using Using it all over the face I used it on my cheeks as well as the eyes I deep dived into this to create this beautiful look for you guys so if you're interested in seeing me demo this product and share my honest thoughts with you guys then make sure to keep on watching all right you guys we're gonna start with skin prep I'm gonna go in with my Laneige sleeping mask first and I just want to apply some of this onto my lips next up I want to go in with some moisturizer I did wash and moisturize moisturize my face already but I feel like I just need a little bit more help in the winter so I want to go in with the skin proud frozen over gel to ice hydrator I really like this stuff before makeup it's a really fun clear moisturizer I really like it to prep the skin the formula is really nice and cooling on the face and it's really nice and hydrating like I really like this stuff going in with the milk hydro grip primer just on my t-zone just because I feel like I always need a little extra help for my pores and just gonna blend that and concentrate that on my t-zone going in with another one of my favorite skin proud products this is the skin proud ice cold cooling eye serum stick I love to just use this under the eyes to prep them I use it for makeup days and also non makeup days it's just really nice and soothing on the under eyes and I feel like for makeup days it really nicely preps the under eyes, gives nice moisture and just gets them ready for makeup. Going in with my current favorite color corrector, this is the Charlotte Tilbury color corrector in the shade medium 2 and I'm just going to apply this with my finger under my eyes, around my mouth and on any acne scarring that I have and this is just going to help perfect my imperfections color correcting is all done we need to go in with foundation next i'll be going in with my favorite drugstore foundation this is the wet and wild photo focus foundation and i like to use the shade golden beige i'm going in with my nars radiant creamy concealer next and i'm just going to conceal my face I'm just going to go ahead in and set the face with the Huda Beauty setting powder. I let the powder sit for about 30 seconds. Now I'm just going to blend it into the rest of the face with whatever excess product I have. And that is because we're gonna be going in with powder, um, blush, contour, and highlight, especially since we're um, reviewing a powder, contour, and highlight. So you wanna make sure your face is nice and set so that you can go in with the product nicely. If you don't set your face, you might have a patchy kind of application and you don't want that so you want to make sure your face is nice and set I'm just going over top of the lids with some setting powder as well just to prep them we're doing a soft glam look so I don't need to go in with concealer or anything heavy I think setting powder will do all right so time to jump into the product that we're reviewing today which is the beauty bakery lemon bar face palette this palette looks like it has two contour shades like a bronzer and a contour shade as well as a highlight so I'm excited to try this on the face and see how it performs right off the bat I absolutely love the packaging like it's basically packaged to be like a food product like there's nutrition facts in the back which I thought was super cool I just love the details so it looks like this product has like a golden toned highlight as well as a light and dark contour shade. So I think what I'm going to do is go in with the lighter contour first and I just want to sculpt the face.
that looks really nice and natural this is the lighter contour shade it's a really nice bronzer and it really went on effortlessly onto the face it's reminding me a lot of their um, eyeshadow formula I have done a few beauty bakery eyeshadow reviews I'll have those videos linked up here and also down below in the description box but so far I really like the formula and I also really like the tone one thing I will say though is the product is quite crummy it's pretty crummy on the pan I am finding that this product is really nicely buildable like I can go in and layer the product on and intensify the contour as I please I feel like I could probably use the darker shade as well to contour but since we're doing like a soft glam look I think I'll stick to the lighter bronzer on the face and I'll use a deeper shade on my lids we'll do a nice eye look taking the same middle contour shade I'm just going to contour out my nose I'm just taking the deepest shade in the palette and this one is also quite crummy as you guys can see. That is a trend with Beauty Bakery I find so you really just need to focus on tapping off any excess product so you don't make a mess on your face. So I'm going to take this deeper contour shade and I just want to dust this onto my lids to create a nice shadow. Oh yeah this is a beautiful transition shade. I really like this. Since we're going for like a glowy look just to kind of finish off the lids I do want to try Try this yellow toned highlight on my lids even before I go in onto the face I will use it on the face but you know me I like to try different things out for different reasons and see how it performs I just realized this beautiful like light yellow gold color is kind of resembling lemon and it makes sense because it's called a lemon bar palette so I thought that was really cute it just clicked in my mind so I'm just gonna go in with my finger and place a little bit of this color onto my lids wow this is a beautiful color of course we need to go in with blush before we go in with highlights so we're gonna take a quick break from the um, lemon bar palette and we're going to do our blush so I'm gonna go in with my iconic London face palette that is completely beat up you guys like I don't think you're ready to see this like brace yourself it's very beat up because it unfortunately fell and it broke and all these beautiful shades I had to throw out because it like shattered onto the floor so there was no salvaging it but I mean we have three colors standing and I love this color right here so I want to pop that on the cheeks I just love this light pink color it's such a nice soft pink I'm gonna quickly fill in my brows with my Benefit Gimme Brow and I'm just going to brush my brows with this. I'm gonna quickly go off camera and add some mascara to my eyes and just wrap them up. I'm just gonna go in with the iconic London Enrich and Elevate Mascara. I did review this mascara, so if you wanna know details about this product, check out that video. I'll have it linked up here and also down below in the description box for you guys. Time to go in with the highlight on the face. I'm excited to see see how this is going to perform uh, right off the bat it is also quite crummy on the pan but that's expected with this brand so nothing new I feel like this highlight is going to be more of like an illuminator not so sparkly but more just a nice sheen and yep that's exactly what I'm seeing and wow I'm actually really really liking this what this is beautiful although it's super yellow on the pan once it's on the face it doesn't look so yellow i love how effortlessly this is blending into the cheek and it layers really nicely as well and i just love the tone put some on the cupid's bow some on the nose this is a fun palette you guys i definitely showed you guys that you can use it on the face which is what it was made for but you can also use these colors on your eyes and create a really quick beautiful soft glam glowy eye look you can also do like a matte look by using just the two contour shades um yeah definitely i i like this palette this is beautiful i'm going in with my favorite lip liner at the moment this is the wet and wild color icon lip liner in chestnut and i'm just going to line my lips with this to match the soft pink on the cheeks, I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lipstick. This is the original. And since we're going for like a super glowy look, I do want to add a little bit of shimmer and gloss to the lips. 
and to do so I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the shade sparkle lava this is a limited edition lip gloss I believe so I don't think it's available anymore but you can just go in with any sparkly gloss and it'll do and to finish off the look, I'm gonna just set everything in place with the Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist, and this is the Rose Water and Green Tea one. All right, you guys, so that is pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And you guys, that is pretty much it. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.